Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an updated California name change Q&A because I haven't done one of these in over a year and a half and a lot of you have been asking me questions about the process, especially since the beginning of the year. So I list on my phone up some questions that I've been getting asked a lot recently. So let's get into the questions. The first question is something that I feel like I've addressed a lot in the past, but people still keep asking me this question and that is, do you have to pay for each name that you want to change? So basically, is it the same cost to change your first name as it is to change your entire name? So your first name, middle name, and last name. And the simple answer is no, you don't have to pay extra for each name that you want to change. It's the exact same cost to change your first name as it is to change your first name, last name, and middle name. If you change your first name in 2019 and then you decide to change your last name in 2020, you will have to pay the filing fee twice. But as long, but as long as you're changing all your names at the same time, it's the exact same price. You don't have to pay extra anything. The next question is, do you have to register for selective service if you change your gender to non-binary? The answer to this question is a little bit confusing and complicated. Basically, at this moment in time, when I'm filming this video, the federal government does not recognize the gender non-binary. So basically, if your gender with social security with the federal government is male, you will have to register for selective service even if the state of California recognizes your gender as non-binary. It's a little bit complicated right now, but I feel like everything is going to get sorted out within the next few years as people start suing different states. The next question is slightly related to this one, and that is, what if I'm living in California and I change my gender to non-binary in California, but my state doesn't recognize my gender as non-binary? If your state doesn't recognize non-binary as a gender, you can still get it changed in California. You can still have it on your California ID and everything else in California, but it unfortunately won't be recognized by your home state. The best thing to do in that situation is talk to your old representatives from your home state or your representatives here in California and ask them to introduce the bill at the state, local, or federal level to make non-binary a recognized gender option. I know that a lot of people don't think that politics is important, but it actually really is in a lot of these situations. So don't underestimate the power that your reps have over these sorts of things. The next question is how I convince my parents to let me change my name if I'm under 18. I don't have any personal experience with this because I waited until I was 19. So I suggest being patient with them and bringing it up over a longer period of time. And then if they don't like the name that you picked for yourself, maybe give them the option of picking your middle name or something like that, that might make them a little bit more likely to let you change your name. But at the end of the day, if they still say no, always remember that you can file literally the day that you turn 18 and then you will turn 18 eventually because that's how time works. So best of luck to this person and anyone else that's in this situation. The next question is, what was the scariest part of the process? In my opinion, the scariest part of the process was getting my name changed at social security. Maybe it was just the social security office that I went to, but there are a lot of people that were getting really upset there and a few you will have to be removed from the building so it was pretty stressful and I had to wait there for a few hours so my advice to any of you out there would be to do your research on the social security office that you're going to make sure that it's one where that sort of thing isn't going to happen the next question is where should I publish my name change so that people won't find the publication and come to my hearing I personally published in El Observador which is a Spanish newspaper in San Jose but for any of you that aren't in San Jose I would suggest looking for a newspaper that's really small that's not published online and that's maybe published in a different language because if it's not online people will probably have a much more difficult time finding it but even if someone does oppose I feel like the judge would probably still grant your name change if you had a good enough reason but the next question is do you need to change your name on your birth certificate um you don't have to change your name on your birth certificate I personally did because I was worried about my house burning down and losing all of my documents if you do have your birth certificate changed that might be a little bit easier to get than a copy of your court order if you've lost it I think it's a good thing to do if you live outside of California and you don't really want to go through that process, then you absolutely don't have to. The last question I'm going to answer is when are you launching your nonprofit? If you watched my 2019 goals video, you know that one of my goals is to start a nonprofit to raise money for people's filing fees. I'm planning on starting it as soon as possible. I already bought my domain and I'm working on putting up a website with new guides, so that should be up by the end of the month, but I won't be able to file for the nonprofit until I have the money for the filing fee, so I'll probably be doing that sometime in March or April. I'll be sure to keep you all updated about that on here and on my social media. So those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering in this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below or DM me and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome. I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.